Streaming is a tough mistress. You try to please her with the things that you think she's gonna like, and then sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Now, my friend wanted to join in for the last dungeon, so I'll try my best to... <sighs> not do too much of that. Because I know he's still probably asleep, like... I could probably work on getting the joke weapons, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I could go grind some money. Um, right, right. I was looking up a side quest guy. Oops. <laughs> So, where were we? We did that. Did that. And for Carol's, I don't know how many times you have to run away from a fight, but... It's a lot, like... Not a tiny amount. Let me see, we got Sundering Moon. Can you Manju? We can get the Hot Spring. We did that. And Arnian toward the left of the last year. Did that. Did that. <coughs> Excuse me. In Arnian, find Drake for stealths. Okay, we did that. We got Shining Star. That worldly adventure. We can't get Vanji lost because we missed out on that somehow. Not doing the doctor's degree. I don't even have the collector's book, so. Okay, we just got the Ivy Blade last time, I think. That was the last part. Hand over a silver edge plus one alpha to the cowboy. Okay, so in Lenathro Hollow, head towards the Greyguard, enter Raluise Harrow for a scene, enter Capo Nor and talk to Hisuka Shastil. And talk to Hisuka, their senior knights from the TOV movie. They're looking for the Sword of Prayer, which is a treasure. Enter the air crenade that is at the southeast of the west side of Kados. Oh, Sword Dancer. So we have to go to Lanathra Hollow and Raluiz Hollow for some scenes, okay. Lanathra <laughs> Hollow and Raluiz Hollow. So Lanathra Hollow is over here. The continent of Hypionia. Actually, right here. Right? It's hard to see it at night. There it is. And head towards the graveyard. Renansula Hollow. <coughs> Excuse me. I probably won't have the money till December to buy it. Yeah, whatever. It's like, this goes to show you how uncommitted those people were. Hey, um, can I ask you something, Patty? Aye, what is it? Cypher made this to him, right? Aye, that much we've determined. So, what actually happened on the Black Hope? Why did everyone aboard suddenly turn into monsters? I've had a theory ever since we met Cypher. I've read that a sudden influx of dense air can do that to the body. It happens more often than you'd think. <coughs> but who would do such a thing and why? My money's on Alexei. 
Never thought I'd hear that name again. Siren's Fang escorted the Black Hope at Alexei's request. He could have used some sort of formula on board the ship. He experimented on the entire crew. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I think that all adds up. Adds up how? Well, suppose he was trying to conjure the children of the full moon. They're about as powerful as Estelle, and you'd need their power to revive Zaude. And that little scheme turns Cypher and all the others into monsters. Monsters that Cypher put out of their misery with his blade. And Dyford ended up taking the fall. Don't worry about me. I haven't suffered nearly as much as Cypher and the others. I did what I had to do. I just wish I hadn't been injured. But that's all in the past. Alexei's dead, too. Did the hat and sword belong to Cypher? I. They were what helped restore my memory. I can't believe you've had your memory back this whole time. So you're saying this is Cypher's resting place too? Say what? Once Cypher transformed, he probably wanted to wipe himself off the map. So he dug his own grave. Cypher. You crying again? I told you my motto didn't die. Crying gets you nowhere. Then we'd better go. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. All this stuff. I'll come see you again, Cypher. Doesn't really, like... Oh, he performed this experiment on the pirates, and it's like trying to tie it into meeting the children of the full moon in the Garden of Paradise. Like, ultimately, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. That's why, whenever you played classic, the story still made sense. Like, it didn't matter that all this other stuff wasn't in the game. Okay, and then Reloise Hollow for a scene with Sylph. Whew, excuse me, sorry. Just really woke up an hour ago. Ooh, does anything different show up if it's a sandstorm on this continent? Mm, doesn't appear to be the case. Thought I saw something. This should be some fine training. Don't get cocky. I can change our weapons yet, right? I don't really care about how I don't know this. Um, well, let me see. I'll fight you wherever you rise. Dragon Swarm. I think I'm still learning Sword Ring Alpha, so let's not do that. And you can't go wrong with Demon Fang, it's pretty standard. Oh, look at these things, yeah. Greater Skunky, my last magic lens. I will fight for the world. So they didn't even drop anything that good, just stinky bags, which we have uh, enough of those already, I'm pretty sure. We already made all the stuff that required it, so. No problem here with that. See, there's still a couple more things I have to do, and I also need to grab my phone. In case somebody throws a phone. Oh, Drop the same thing. Except, I guess the stinky bags are 
higher drop chance on those dudes because so far we've they've always dropped one. Whoa, where'd you come from? I I just feel at home here, it soothes me. Listen, when I fell off Zade, you were the one who saved me, weren't you? Oh, I guess this is explaining how he got there. Duke couldn't have done it alone. Indeed. Hold on, let me just unlock my phone real quick. Indeed. So you were also at the sands of Kogor. Yuri thought he saw you there. In other words, you've conveniently saved my act twice now. You better thank her then. No, he need not thank me. This is merely how things have played out. Unfortunately for you, people who get saved tend to be pretty grateful. There's also the matter of Duke ordering me to save you. Why did you support Duke so heavily? What's in it for you? Maybe the better question is who she's into. Hmm? Are you in love? I had not considered I might be emotionally invested. So why then? To carry on father's legacy. Your father? Father accompanied Duke on a long journey, fighting by his side all the while. He was rarely moved, but Duke's journey gave him ineffable joy. They became close friends, and so I felt there was a debt to be paid. Ah, so you're Lucifer's daughter. Wow, a whole Entelikea family. It is incredibly rare, particularly since we Entelikea have a ball to be born of the heir itself. Ah, no wonder you all look so unique. <laughs> I have not met another Antilike with relatives apart from myself and my father, but I feel just as you do when it comes to family. I felt I had to help my father's closest friend. Did the knights also act on Duke's behalf? My guess is they were just keeping tabs on Alexei. <coughs> Excuse me. Then they'd report this movement back to Duke, right? Correct, but in the end, Duke chose the toughest path. There's still time. If we can defeat the Autofagos, there'll be no need for Duke to fight. Aye, we can take him out of play, you mean. True, he would escape unscathed, but perhaps even return to a life of peace and tranquility. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm hearing is we need to get rid of those beasts in the sky yesterday. Heck yeah, but let's go around and keep talking to everybody instead. Indeed. Especially you. Hey, Sylphie. The way you talk about him, that's love, honey. I, well, that may be true, it's in the past. I'm no longer Chroma. I'm a spirit of the wind now, the gentle breeze at his back, and the whisper in the trees guiding him to safety. Oh, who? What are we talking about? Yuri? Everybody just loves Yuri, don't they? Duke? Maybe Duke. Are these guys different? Oh, these are the spikadillos, and they probably dropped the armadillo spikes. And they only appear here when it's in a sandstorm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These guys have a lot of health. That's good. Oh, my God, that's not my spell cast anymore. Repeat. Ah, they do drop their own little spikes. Well, I'll be kajiggered. Uh, damn, damn, double damn. What do I want to do here? I kind of want to identify them, but seeing as how this should be some fine training. One shot should. I don't know, it's not the most you. important. Because if I leave and come back, it could not be, you know, the sandstorm could easily dry up by that. <laughs> oh, 
Excuse me. Swift and certain. Man, a lot of stuff got dropped there. So those dudes dropped the armadillo spikes, huh? Tricky, aren't you? And it feels like they're kind of rare on the map, too. Like, we could just, like, run out, run back in, and get them. And if they always drop them, we could just do that real quick. Like, it sucks. I wish, you know, like in all the other games, they give somebody, like, some sort of ability to identify monsters. But uh, not in this game. Not even in the PS3 version that they added. Which means I have to go buy magic lenses again. Interesting, though. Very interesting. If they always drop, though, I only have to do this like four times for me to get all the ones that I want. But yeah, so the armadillos show up here. Huh. This looks easy. I don't remember. Do, there's only one in this group. Oh, okay. Well, that shouldn't take a while. The spike adillos, sorry. I don't like rockabilly music. Nobody would even like, unless you're like. Late 80s, early 90s, Leno, you probably wouldn't even know that reference. My mom's dating a vampire. It was a Disney movie for a long ass time. By this point. And it was like, I just had that actor in it from, um. The Nanny. Mr. Sheffield played the vampire. Song of victory. Mr. Sheffield, you're a vampire. And it's like, oh, Nanny, fine, shut the fuck up. I've been a vampire this whole time, and my interest of in you has been real because I need a vampire wife. Mr. Sheffield, I don't know if I want to be an eternal undead. Well, I'd have to ask my mother. It was, uh... It was this an alright movie. Easy. I mean, you know, it's, it's a kid's movie. So. What do you expect it to be? Really? Oh, I have an answer for you. Now we end this. Light Dragon Destruction! You must do better than that. That was a fine bit of training. Okay, only one armadillo spike that time. That's kind of annoying, huh? We got five of them so far. I mean, that should be fine. But there's uh, always room for improvement, and I do need my abilities to get learned and all this other shit. We were kind of pushing this off until the end. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I don't know exactly how much we're going to be able to carry over. Because I don't really feel like grinding out grade just so I can have everything for one single New Game Plus. I kind of feel like spreading it out among a couple of New Game Pluses. Let's have a good time! Ow. Oh, 
Suffice. Ooh, that's a good one. So really only one more if we get another enemy set up like that. Three armadillo spikes, baby. And also the great Leo fangs, I have no idea where the fuck those are gonna show up. The great Leo ones drop off of like I said, those are the Gigantos monsters. So we'll see, we'll see. We've yet to go to Tarkaron. And apparently we get to fight the Sword Dancer, so that's pretty cool. This is something I missed during my initial playthrough. My offline one. How feeble looking! Don't get <sighs> cocky! Okay, that's done. That's what you gotta do, baby. I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. When she foe arts. Okay. Rising Phoenix, Winding Quake, Tiger Rage, Swordman Alpha, Fierce Hellfire Blade. So Hellfire Blade with Hellfire and Crucible. So I need Hellfire and Crucible for that one. So I'm gonna have to wait until this fight is over. Thanks, sucks to be you. 